Welcome to Venezuela, a land of striking contrasts and breathtaking allure. Home to the world's tallest waterfall, Angel Falls, standing at a staggering 3,212 feet, 979 meters. This natural wonder is just one part of the country's awe-inspiring landscape, from the towering Andes Mountains to the vast plains of Los Llanos and the pristine Caribbean coastlines, Venezuela's beauty captivates the soul. Did you know that Venezuela is home to a place so mysterious and otherworldly that it inspired Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's famous novel, The Lost World? And let's not forget the Amazon rainforest, a significant geographical feature that stretches into Venezuela, covering a vast expanse of the country's southern region. This lush, biodiverse paradise is teeming with life, from exotic wildlife to indigenous communities that have thrived for centuries. The Amazon is not just a forest, it's a vital part of Venezuela's natural heritage and a crucial component of the Earth's ecosystem. Towering above the clouds, the breathtaking Mount Roraima is a flat-topped mountain that has captivated explorers and writers for centuries. Its isolated summit with a unique ecosystem and sheer cliffs feels like a world frozen in time. This remarkable landscape is reminiscent of the lost world, home to plants and animals found nowhere else on Earth. This iconic landmark is just one of many wonders that showcase Venezuela's incredible natural beauty and heritage. Welcome to the Nations of the World series, where we journey across the globe exploring the rich history, vibrant cultures and breathtaking landscapes that define each country. From towering mountains to hidden folklore, we dive deep into the untold stories that make each nation unique. Join us as we uncover the heart and soul of these incredible countries. And if you enjoy this journey, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay connected with each new chapter in our global adventure. Venezuela spans approximately 916,445 square kilometers or 353,841 square miles, making it roughly the size of France and Germany combined. Venezuela, with its capital city Caracas, is nestled in northern South America and bordered by Colombia, Brazil and Guyana. It's a nation of extremes. But beyond its extraordinary beauty lies a story of dramatic highs and profound lows. How did Venezuela, once a beacon of wealth and prosperity, descend into one of Latin America's most complex crises? Stay with us as we uncover the untold story of this enigmatic nation and reveal a surprising twist about its future. Venezuela's story is often relegated to sensational headlines portraying a nation in turmoil. However, to truly understand Venezuela, we must delve into its history, culture, and the resilience of its people. This journey will take us from ancient civilizations to modern day challenges, exploring the legacy of indigenous communities and the struggle for independence. Venezuela, a land of astounding geographical diversity, sprawls across the northern coast of South America. From the snow-capped peaks of Pico Bolivar to the sun-drenched beaches of Isla Margarita, Venezuela's natural beauty is a sight to behold. The Andes Mountains create a dramatic backdrop for cities like Merida, known for its colonial architecture and cable car that ascends to the highest point in Venezuela accessible by road. Venezuela, with over 28 million people, is a cultural melting pot. Spanish, the official language, unites the nation, but many other languages reflect its rich heritage. Indigenous languages like Wayu and Pemon thrive, preserving ancient traditions. Religion is significant, with most being Roman Catholic, alongside Protestant and indigenous beliefs. The name Venezuela comes from explorer Amerigo Vespucci, who called it Little Venice due to the stilt houses along Lake Maracaibo, reminiscent of Venice, Italy. Venezuela is home to over 26 recognized indigenous ethnic groups, including the Wayu, Pemon, and Yanomami. Many of these groups still preserve their ancient traditions, languages, and ways of life, particularly in the remote areas of the Amazon and the Gran Sabana. Among the earliest known inhabitants were the Timoto Quicas, skilled agriculturalists who developed sophisticated irrigation systems. In coastal regions, groups like the Caribs and Arawaks thrived on the bounty of the sea, becoming skilled fishermen and navigators. The Timoto Quicas, inhabitants of the Andes Mountains, serve as a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of early civilizations. They developed intricate irrigation systems and terraced fields, transforming rugged terrain into fertile agricultural land. 
Their mastery of agriculture allowed them to flourish in a region often considered unforgiving. Their connection to nature was deeply spiritual, recognizing the spirits within mountains, rivers and forests. Venezuela's colonial history began in 1498, when Christopher Columbus reached its northeastern coast during his third voyage to the Americas. The Spanish soon established settlements, and Venezuela became part of the vice royalty of New Granada under Spanish control. During the colonial period, Venezuela's economy was largely based on agriculture, with crops like cacao and tobacco produced on large plantations, often worked by enslaved Africans and indigenous peoples. However, the colonial rule was harsh, with heavy taxation and restrictions on trade imposed by the Spanish crown, stoking resentment among the Creole elite, people of Spanish descent born in the Americas. In the late 18th century, the ideas of the Enlightenment, combined with the success of the American and French revolutions, inspired many across Latin America to seek independence from European rule. The turning point for Venezuela came in the early 19th century, when figures like Francisco de Miranda and Simon Bolivar rose to prominence. Miranda, a Venezuelan military leader, made an initial attempt to liberate the country in 1806, but it was Bolivar, often called El Libertador, who would ultimately lead the fight for independence. In 1810, following Napoleon's invasion of Spain, the Venezuelan people saw an opportunity to push for autonomy. On April 19th of that year, Caracas declared a provisional independence from Spanish rule, establishing the First Republic of Venezuela. However, this initial attempt was short-lived, as royalist forces loyal to Spain soon regained control. It wasn't until July 5th, 1811, that Venezuela formally declared its independence, becoming the first Spanish-American colony to do so. But this declaration marked the beginning of a long and difficult war of independence. For the next decade, Venezuela was caught in a brutal conflict between Spanish royalist forces and Republican troops. Cities were destroyed and thousands of lives were lost. Simon Bolivar's leadership proved critical during this period. After a series of defeats, he regrouped his forces and waged a relentless campaign against the Spanish, securing a decisive victory at the Battle of Carabobo on June 24, 1821. This victory effectively ended Spanish control in Venezuela, though smaller battles continued until 1823. Following independence, Venezuela became part of Gran Colombia, a federation that included present-day Colombia, Ecuador and Panama, with Simon Bolivar as its leader. Born in Caracas, Venezuela in 1783, he devoted his life to freeing the continent from Spanish rule. Bolivar led military campaigns that liberated six nations, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia and Panama. However, internal divisions and regional differences soon emerged, and by 1830, Venezuela withdrew from the federation, becoming a fully independent nation. Although Bolivar's dream of a united Latin America, Gran Colombia, was never realized, his legacy as a military genius and champion of independence endures. Bolivar's name remains synonymous with liberty, inspiring generations to fight for freedom and justice across the continent. Thus, Venezuela's journey from a Spanish colony to an independent republic was long and fraught with challenges. The struggle for independence defined the nation's early identity and laid the groundwork for its future as a sovereign state. The 19th century in Venezuela was marked by political instability, civil wars, and the rise of regional military leaders known as caudillos. These strongmen often controlled the country through personal power, using military force to gain and maintain control. The period saw continuous infighting between liberals and conservatives, and the development of the economy was slow. In 1859, Venezuela was torn apart by the federal war, a brutal civil war between liberal and conservative factions. This conflict ravaged the nation for four long years, ending in 1863 with the establishment of a federal system of government. Despite the hope for stability, the late 19th century saw several caudillos dominate Venezuelan politics. Among them, Antonio Guzman Blanco stood out. Ruling the country intermittently, Guzman Blanco modernized the capital, Caracas, while centralizing power in his hands. As the 20th century dawned, Venezuela's political landscape was about to change dramatically. In 1908, Juan Vicente Gomez seized power, establishing one of the longest lasting and most repressive dictatorships in Venezuelan history. Gomez ruled Venezuela with an iron fist for nearly three decades 
until his death in 1935. His regime was marked by political repression and the consolidation of power, but it also saw the beginnings of Venezuela's transformation into an oil-rich state. In 1914, the discovery of oil at the Maracaibo Basin marked the beginning of Venezuela's oil boom. Foreign companies, primarily from the United States, began to exploit the country's vast oil reserves. Under Gomez, Venezuela became one of the world's leading oil exporters, though much of the wealth was concentrated in the hands of a small elite. The Caudillo era, with its power struggles and conflicts, set the stage for the profound changes that would shape Venezuela's future. It was a time of great turmoil, but also of significant transformation, as the nation began to realize the potential of its vast natural resources. As decades turned into centuries, resentment against Spanish rule simmered beneath the surface of Venezuelan society. Inspired by the success of the American Revolution, Venezuelans began to envision a future free from colonial rule. In 1811, Venezuela declared its independence from Spain, marking the beginning of a long and bloody struggle for liberation. Legend speaks of El Silbon, a ghostly figure that haunts the plains of Venezuela, filling the night air with an eerie, unmistakable whistle. His story is one of tragedy and vengeance, a chilling reminder of the darkness that can consume a soul. Once El Silbon was a young man, living in the vast plains known as Los Llanos, but his life took a sinister turn after a horrific act. He murdered his own father in a fit of rage. Some say it was because his father failed to bring him the deer he craved, while others believe it was out of jealousy or rebellion. As punishment, his grandfather cursed him, tying him to an eternal fate of wandering the earth. He would carry the bones of his father in a sack, doomed to forever walk the land as a tormented spirit. To this day, his presence is marked by his haunting whistle, soft and distant if he's near, and loud and clear when he's far away, tricking those who hear it. It is said that El Silbon preys on those who cross his path, especially drunkards and unfaithful men, claiming their lives and adding their bones to his cursed sack. Beware the whistle of El Silbon. Should you ever hear it in the night, take heed. For this restless spirit still roams the Llanos, seeking eternal revenge and forever reminding the living of the consequences of betrayal and violence. The festival of Yere is a vibrant and colorful celebration that takes place annually in Venezuela. It is a time when communities come together to honor their cultural heritage through music, dance, and traditional rituals. The festival is marked by lively parades, elaborate costumes, and a sense of unity and joy that permeates the air. Participants and spectators alike are immersed in the rich traditions and history of Venezuela, making the Festival of Year a truly unforgettable experience. At the dawn of the 20th century, a discovery deep beneath Venezuela's surface would forever alter the nation's destiny. In 1914, a gusher erupted from a well in Mene Grande, marking the discovery of vast oil reserves Venezuela quickly emerged as a major player in the global oil market, attracting foreign investment and transforming its economy. The discovery of oil ushered in an era of prosperity for many Venezuelans, particularly those in urban centers. The oil boom created countless jobs, attracting people from rural areas and neighboring countries seeking a better life. Venezuela's newfound wealth also had a profound impact on its culture and society, with a cosmopolitan atmosphere emerging in major cities. Economic disparity began to grow, leading to social unrest and protests, as not everyone benefited equally from the oil wealth. Lake Maracaibo, Venezuela's largest lake, is renowned for the spectacular Catatumbo lightning. Rich in natural gas, it plays a vital role in the country's oil industry. However, years of oil extraction have led to heavy pollution. This has severely impacted the local communities and environment, highlighting the urgent need for sustainable practices. Additionally, Venezuela is home to the world's first oil-powered cable car. The Merida cable car is the highest and longest cable car in the world, stretching over 12 kilometers, 7.5 miles, and ascending to an altitude of 15,633 feet, taking passengers through the Andean mountains. Venezuela has given the world several influential figures across various fields. Gustavo Dudamel, a world-renowned conductor, has brought Venezuelan classical music to the global stage. Romulo Betancourt, known as the father of Venezuelan democracy, played a key role in shaping modern Venezuela. Baruj Ben Acharaf, a Venezuelan-American immunologist, 
won the Nobel Prize in 1980 for his groundbreaking work in immunology, impacting global medicine. However, this list is by no means exhaustive. Venezuela has produced many more people who have shaped the world. While we've highlighted these key figures, there are countless others whose stories we can't cover in detail due to the time we have together in this video. Their contributions in politics, the arts and science continue to resonate across the globe. By the late 20th century, Venezuela, despite its vast oil wealth, faced social and economic crisis. Decades of corruption and inequality eroded public trust, paving the way for a charismatic leader. Enter Hugo Chavez, a former army lieutenant colonel known for a failed coup in 1992. Chavez's fiery rhetoric and promise to redistribute oil wealth resonated with millions. Upon assuming the presidency, Chavez embarked on the Bolivarian Revolution, a nod to Simon Bolivar's vision of a united South America. Central to Chavez's agenda was redistributing oil wealth through social programs known as Misiones, aimed at improving healthcare, education, housing, and food for the poor. Funded by high oil prices, the Misiones brought tangible improvements. Poverty rates declined, healthcare expanded, and literacy rates soared. However, critics pointed to a lack of transparency and dependency on oil prices. Chavez's economic policies eroded Venezuela's once thriving private sector and sowed the seeds of a profound economic crisis. Upon the death of Hugo Chavez in 2013, Nicolas Maduro inherited a country grappling with soaring inflation and chronic shortages. Lacking Chavez's charisma, he doubled down on his predecessor's policies, further tightening government control over the economy. The economy, reliant on oil exports, went into freefall as global oil prices plummeted. Inflation reached hyperinflationary levels. The country plunged into its worst economic crisis in modern history. The economic and humanitarian crisis that engulfed Venezuela under Chavez's Bolivarian Revolution and worsened under Maduro triggered a mass exodus of Venezuelans fleeing their homeland. Millions emigrated to neighboring countries such as Colombia, Peru and Brazil, as well as to the United States and Spain, seeking refuge from economic hardship political turmoil and violence. The Venezuela that once boasted the highest standard of living in Latin America had become a shadow of its former self. The nation plunged into a full-blown humanitarian crisis. Venezuela's healthcare system was on the verge of collapse. Millions of Venezuelans made the agonizing decision to leave everything they knew and loved behind. A mass exodus began as desperate families fled across borders in search of safety and a better future. Neighboring countries, particularly Colombia and Peru, bore the brunt of the exodus. Images of exhausted Venezuelan families became a heartbreaking symbol of the crisis. In the depths of Venezuelan folklore lies the chilling tale of La Sayona, a vengeful spirit that roams the countryside. Once a beautiful woman named Melissa, she was driven to madness by a false rumor that her husband was unfaithful. In a fit of rage, she killed him and her own mother, only to later discover that the rumor was a lie. Cursed by her mother's dying words, Melissa transformed into La Sayona, a ghostly figure who seeks vengeance on unfaithful men. She appears as an enchanting woman, drawing men into her allure only to reveal her horrifying true form just before she punishes them for their betrayal. This story, much like the tale of El Silbon, serves as a powerful reminder in Venezuelan culture, one of morality, loyalty, and the dire consequences of betrayal. La Sayona's legend remains one of Venezuela's most haunting and enduring cautionary tales, woven deeply into the fabric of rural life. Venezuela's national symbols are not just decorations. They are powerful reflections of the nation's identity and heritage. Today, we explore three key symbols, the flag, the national emblem, and the national animal. First, the Venezuelan flag. The flag is a striking blend of colors with deep meanings. It features three horizontal stripes, yellow at the top, blue in the middle, and red at the bottom, with an arc of eight white stars in the center. Yellow represents the country's wealth and the golden opportunities that have shaped its history. It reflects the richness of the land and a hopeful future. Blue symbolizes the Atlantic Ocean and the bravery of those who fought for independence from Spanish rule. It's a tribute to Venezuela's enduring spirit. Red stands for the bloodshed during the struggle for freedom and the passion that propels the nation forward. The eight white stars in the flag honor the eight provinces crucial to the fight for independence, symbolizing unity and the shared struggle for liberty. 
Officially adopted in 2006, this flag is a vivid emblem of Venezuela's journey from a Spanish colony to an independent nation. Next, the national emblem. The coat of arms of Venezuela is a powerful symbol of the nation's history, unity and wealth. Divided into three sections, it features a bundle of wheat representing agricultural prosperity, a set of weapons symbolizing the fight for independence, and a free-running horse embodying liberty. The shield is framed by olive and palm branches for peace and glory, with national flags atop. It proudly reflects Venezuela's journey towards freedom and its aspirations for the future. Adopted in 1811 and refined over time, the emblem encapsulates Venezuela's identity and rich natural resources. Finally, the national animal, the Venezuelan trupial. The Venezuelan trupial, with its striking orange, black and white plumage, is a symbol of the country's vibrant natural beauty. Known for its melodious song, this bird embodies the spirit and resilience of the Venezuelan people. The trupial also represents Venezuela's rich biodiversity and the importance of conservation. As a national symbol, it highlights the need to protect the country's natural heritage. In addition to the Venezuelan trupial, another significant symbol of Venezuela's natural heritage is the Orinoco River crocodile. This majestic yet endangered species native to the Orinoco River basin is one of the largest crocodiles in the world. Despite its vital role in the ecosystem, the Orinoco River crocodile faces the threat of extinction due to habitat loss and illegal hunting. Its survival is a reminder of the urgent need to protect Venezuela's unique wildlife, making it an emblem of both the nation's rich biodiversity and its conservation challenges. While many associate football with Latin America in Venezuela, baseball reigns supreme. The country has produced some of the biggest names in Major League Baseball, MLB, like Miguel Cabrera, Felix Hernandez, and Jose Altuve. As we've journeyed through Venezuela's stunning landscapes and its tumultuous history, one thing becomes clear. The nation's story is as layered and dramatic as its geography. From the awe-inspiring Angel Falls to the vibrant streets of Caracas, Venezuela's natural beauty is matched only by its resilience. Despite the challenges of the past and the uncertainties of the present, there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon. With ongoing reforms and the enduring spirit of its people, Venezuela's story is not yet complete. The future holds the promise of renewal and transformation, proving that even in the face of adversity, Venezuela's heart and soul remain as vibrant as its landscapes. Don't forget to check out our playlist, Organized by Continent, where you can explore more fascinating figures like Simon Bolivar, who we also discussed in our episode on Colombia. Dive deeper into the stories that shape these nations.